Before the pandemic, a Netflix film playing in one of the USA's top three exhibitors would be unthinkable. But in 2021, Netflix did it. In an unprecedented deal with Cinemark, Netflix's Army of the Dead opened with a theatrical window of a mere seven days before debuting on the streaming platform. This deal is proof that streamers and the pandemic disrupted the frail equilibrium between studios and theaters begun in 1948 after the infamous United States vs. Paramount case. Back then, each major studio had its own exhibition circuit. Independent cinemas could only show studio movies after they debuted at the studio-owned theaters. Then came the antitrust case, legally separating the production and distribution markets. The first theatrical window was born after the advent of TV created by studios who intended to profit from their films twice, once in theaters, then through broadcasting. When VHS became a trend, some countries, like France, established a minimum window before home video release. That got shorter and shorter with the widespread use of DVDs, VODs and large-scale piracy. This was the chronology of releases before the pandemic. But with theatres forcibly closed in 2020, the systemic changes already happening in global distribution were accelerated. The first to buckle under the pressure was Universal, closing a 17-day window deal with AMC. Warner Brothers took it one step further, deciding on a day and date release in both theatres and on HBO Max for their entire 2021 film slate. Disney didn't take long to follow suit. With that, the theatrical window was shattered. But what will be the role of film distributors? How can they reach audiences, maximize revenue and release films in this environment? Which new distribution strategies will spring up? And will theatres prove that they still deserve a theatrical window?